Hey, Hero fans, this is Todd. So as you guys know, I've been talking about this cool new Orco that I got from uh, Loyal Subjects. And it's made to play with your Loyal Subjects figures, as you guys saw in my other preview that I had. But for Loyal Subjects, or this Orco is huge. And of course, you know, Orco should not be that big compared to uh, He-Man and, and the likes. So, I was curious about how big Orco should be when it comes to Origins. And we did another video on that showing the comparison size and how this is the right size for the Origins figure. He should be about that size. So, the goal now is to get this Orco to reach all the way up to Prince Adam. Now, some of you guys have seen that I made my own little stand that I put on there and just temporarily stuck them up there. And that worked pretty good. But I wanted to make something that was a little more, a little more elegant. And so here's what I came up with. This is my stand right here. And I just finished it today. And I actually made it on the computer, 3D printed it. And uh, it is really cool. I, I love how this came out. Now, I decided to release this on Shapeways for those that want to get their own version. The Shapeways version, when you buy it, of course, won't be clear. It will be solid in color, unless you spend the extra money to get the clear one. And this particular one, I actually sanded it a little bit and put a nice clear coat on it. Now, the one on Shapeways will also be uh, concave right here, not totally flat. Since I printed this at home, um, it actually got resin caught in here and made it totally flat because this was the, the printing plate that it was attached to. So mine's totally flat, but yours will be concave with about a tenth of an inch rim all around it so that when you put it down, it won't wobble if you're on an uneven surface. So let's go ahead and check out how this works. So he has a hole in the bottom. It's kind of rounded. You just take and stick that right in there. Oops, I put it this way. There you go. And you can see it kind of has that cool swoop. And because it's on a rounded ball joint, you can still go ahead and lean him forward or back or even side to side like he's just kind of flying cattywampus around. So it's kind of nice. You can orientate him and still has that articulation feature. So you can fly around and he man run away like he's running away like the Scooby Doo gang. So there you go. So this is now available on my Shapeways. I might make a small batch available in the future um, that I'll release separately on eBay. But for right now, if you want to get this, you have to get it on Shapeways. And I know Shapeways is kind of kind of spendy. I would suggest buying more than one thing because your shipping and handling is pretty expensive too so buy some other ones too or other things as well so you can save on shipping to not have just one mail to you for a small fortune so there it is there is the cool stand it sounds funny my wife always laughs at me because i'm so impressed with myself she was, you shouldn't be so impressed with yourself all the time but anyway i am impressed with myself i think it came out really cool i added a little extra material down here in the in the in the actual model to make it stronger. Now mine does have air bubbles just because like I said, it had trapped resin in there. It's not supposed to be there as part of the concave part, but it does look nice. Way cool. Better than the one I was using with the big giant ring in the bottom. You can get actually pretty close. I purposely leaned him forward. As you take a look, you can see that the knob is not center. It's actually leaned a little forward so that you don't have the base in the way when he's trying to get close to people or close to objects so you can get close to things without actually uh, having the bottom bump first. Now if he's backing into it, you know, now he's going to bump into it first because of course the base has to be so big. All right, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share us around, and uh, let me know if you plan on getting your own Oracle stand um, on my Shapeways. And like I said, I might have a small batch if I have enough people interested with... Uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort to make these because uh, uh, my printer does not like to make them because I actually print them flat right on the surface. So it's it's kind of tough to get them off the, the print base afterwards. But let me know what you think. I'm happy with it. I made my at least, at least my one for myself. And, uh, and again, if you guys want it, I got my Shapeways link here below. And I'll be adding this video to the Shapeways as well. All right, you guys. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends, and I will see you guys next video. Uh...